Two teams too close to the League Two relegation zone for comfort meet at the Checkertrade.com stadium as Crawley Town host the resurgent Forest Green Rovers. Crawley put up a brave display in the Cup at Wigan last week, but they're four without a win in the league. By contrast, Forest Green have won three in a row to move out of the bottom two. Before kick-off here, we will observe a minute's silence in honour of Remembrance Day. for both these two teams. Crawley, no goals in their last four league games, struggling here at home. Forest Green, can they continue this resurgence? Just seeing them move away from trouble for the time being at least. Oh, that was a lovely piece of skill. Good numbers in the box too. Decent defensive header to get it clear though. Crawley asking some questions early on. Here's Mark Connolly. And Cedric Avina. Avina going left to right with his cross. It was a good ball too. Held up by Smith, in comes the shot. Pretty comfortable for Brad Collins to gather up. As you would expect as the home team, only asking the questions in the opening stages of the game. Here's the unknown Chelsea goalkeeper bringing it out of his penalty area. Nobody keen to put him under pressure. Eventually, he played the simple pass out to Fitzwater. And Forrest Green will look to come forward. Brown, good ball forward from him to Deutsch. Fine save from Glenn Morris. See the chance that Deutsch has been gobbling up. Lee Collins. Here's Fitzwater. A point in two places separating these two in the standings ahead of kickoff. And it's been every bit as tight as that statistic would suggest so far. Christian Deutsch, very much the danger man for Forest Green Rovers. This time he's been unselfish in the shot. Cannons back off the crossbar from Keanu Marsh-Brown. Marsh-Brown. Crossbar still shaking from that effort. He rattled against it a couple of moments ago. Forest Green passing it around with confidence here. Bit of a crude challenge right into the referee's nose. It's a good delivery and a great flick on, and again they've hit the woodwork. Cooper will be scratching his head and wondering how his team aren't ahead. They've had by far the better opportunities in this first half and they've been denied by the frame of the goal on two separate occasions. Here's Deutsch again. Goalkeeper came out early and he touched that. Now then, Glenn Morris is in trouble here. What did referee Neil make of that? Morris pleading his innocence. Big moment in the game. Consulting with his assistant. And it's a yellow card. And he is extremely lucky. There'll be further punishment from the set piece. It's either going to be Laird or Marsh Brown. It's Marsh Brown. Nice shape on it. Just rising a little too high to trouble Morris. Crawley need to get going here. Only scored three times in the last nine games. Already beaten six times on this ground already this season. And looking a little bit nervy, which I guess is understandable. They do have a corner here, though. Lewis Young is going to send this in. Nerny have come forward. It's been worked short, and there's the shot, which Collins has lost, and he's got it at the second attempt. Had some power on the effort. Again, a long way from home, happy to be so. A little bit short to Monte. He didn't really want it back, and it's a dreadful touch from the Forest Green defender. 
No intake and quickly. An opportunity here. Oh, it's off the underside of the bar with Collins beaten. Josh Payne so unlucky. Three times now. The frame of that particular goal, which Collins is now defending, has been struck. No purpose about Crawley since half time. It's a decent centre as well, and Collins had to tip it over his bar. So Baldwin testing him. No patient play from Crawley. All aimed at Baldwin is going to be not behind for a corner. there if they want to work a short one instead it goes in direct all sorts of space on the edge of the box and the shot brilliantly saved by Collins oh that's the stop of the game the Forest Green Rovers keeper Drista Traore Osborne forward Forest Green building slowly here's Deutsch what a chance here, saved but only into the path of Doidge, who turns Forest Green Rovers into the lead. Marsh Brown shot, turned out by Morris, but it fell perfectly for Doidge. Three and four for him now, and midway through the second half, Forest Green Rovers have the goal that they will feel their performance has deserved. No one marking Doidge, and a tap in. Now can they? Hang on to the victory here if they can. Maybe four wins in a row, which seemed unthinkable a couple of weeks ago. The free kick to defend here, though, after the foul on Baldwin. Oh, easily by Collins on that occasion. We're just hoping somebody would get a nick on that, I think. Roberts on corner duty. Shade over 10 minutes to play. He's gone deep with it. Headed back across goal and then headed in by Thomas Verhey for his first goal in English football. And the Dutchman levels up for Crawley. Well worked corner this. Roberts delivery headed back across by McNerney. And there was the big Dutchman to restore parity. Crawley will feel that they're worth a share of the points here. I think Mark Cooper might be heading home with a bit of regret if his team can't pinch a late winner, which they've got the chance to do here. And a good save by Morris down at his near post, denying James the substitute. Roberts putting the defender under pressure, and he's won it back here, Jordan Roberts. Oh, his touch was heavy. Still, he's got it, Roberts. Oh, and he decided not to tee up a teammate. If he had a done, Crawley might well have been celebrating a winning goal. And now here come Forrest Green. It's been end-to-end -end throughout this game. It's been a fantastic watch. Deutsch's touch has forced him wide. Does have support. Went for it himself. Morris has got hold of it. as he makes the clearance, much to the delight of many inside the checkertrade.com stadium. And here's Isaiah Osborne. Worked it out wide. Plenty in the middle here for Forrest Green. Oh, back off the post again. Extraordinary. This is going to be surely the last opportunity of the game. Forrest Green will feel that they're Luck is just not in today, or is it? Mad goal, mouth scramble, Deutsch is in there, but Morris has got hold of it. How on earth they've only scored once in this game, I have no idea. They've hit the woodwork on a number of occasions, and Morris, in many feel, probably shouldn't be on the pitch. He's come to Crawley's rescue, and that is full time. Points are shared, might feel like two points dropped for Forest Green Rovers. And Crawley stopped the rot at home. It's finished here. Crawley Town 1.
Forest Green Rovers 1.